Right now then, I'm in the Brecon Beacons National Park in Wales. And what a place this is. I've just done about two and a half miles. I'm pretty much at location I want a wild camp at. There's a little bit to go. It's a bit of a steep trek, but what a beautiful day it is. Um, yeah, let me just show you around. So you can see the blue skies, sun's out. Just, I mean, wow. Right now I'm at, I think it's called Linny Fan Fac, something like that. Probably didn't pronounce it correct, but. So this was, a I think it was a natural lake, but they use it as a reservoir now. And dotted around, there were just no camping signs. So that's why we're going, where is it? You can probably see that trail right there, it runs up. We're going up there and along the ridge line. You can never get away from the bog. It follows me everywhere I go. So I'm going to preempt it right now. As soon as I get on top of that ridge, it's going to be really windy and it's going to be awful to set a tent up. So I want to get on top of the ridge, taking the view for a couple hours and then I'll cook some food, enjoy the views, watch the sunset, have my beer and I'll come down just before the light goes and we'll set up down here. Even though it says not to, but it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's so still down here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But first, up this little hill, not very little. So this is the, you can't really call it a summit, but the highest point, just up here. I should really learn and just stay low and avoid the wind, but the views are twisting my arm really bad right now. I'm, I've, there's a dilemma, I've got a dilemma. It's so flat, really flat. And this is just, yeah, <laughs> amazing. Look how blue the sky is. I've picked the perfect day right now. So this is Brecon. Kind of, lots of hills. This is pretty familiar, I think I've been here before. There's a wind farm like right over that direction. I've seen, I think, three people. Two on the way up and one going back down. So yeah, it's quite out of the way, this. As you see what ingredients we've got. Stomach is proper rumbling now, so let's have a look. So I'm gonna be making Welsh rarebit. And these are the ingredients. So it's basically, they call it posh cheese on toast. I've had it before, it's actually quite nice, so I'm gonna give it a go. So we've got granary bread, some melted butter, lots of local Welsh cheese, uh, flour, and then this is dessert, so this is hefty. It's called Barra Brief, it's just a fruit cake. Never had it before, thought I'd try it. Pretty Welsh, obviously, <laughs> as you can see from that. My water, Worcester sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, you can call it whatever you want. Tea, all that for in the morning. And I've kind of upgraded my cook system. So I had a jet boiler, it's quite hefty and bulky, but this is a titanium lightweight pot. Small bit lighter. And then the gas goes inside it like that. That stops it just rattling on the metal. And this attaches onto there. It's so lightweight, it's like 20 grams. And that's what the, uh, the stove is. So it goes on top like that. It's so lightweight and really small. It all fits in this. So yeah, happy with that. Frying pan like usual. And the main attraction you're all waiting for, obviously. What beer you got today, Liam? So this is, I can't 
can't see. That sun's way too bright. There we go. So this is a Glamorgan Brewing Company Welsh Pale Ale, 4.3, made in Lantrisant. <laughs> so there we go. Shout out to Glamorgan Brewing Company. I mean, look at that background. Considering I had no toaster or oven, that is pretty good toasted bread. So I've melted the butter and added the flour and I've made a roux. Basically thickens the sauce up. I've added the water to it, it's thickened up really nicely. Next is the Worcestershire sauce and the local Welsh beer. Lots of that in flavour. Let's open the beer then. I'm not going to taste it just yet. This is for food. I said I didn't. I didn't taste it. That was just foam. <laughs> Alright then, let's get it in. This is a proper Welsh meal. I probably made it wrong, but I mean, yeah, that's enough. I'm just gonna bring this to like a boil and try thicken it up. I promise you when I say this, this is one of the best things I have ever cooked. So if you look at it, I don't even know if it's supposed to be like that, but I've just tasted it and oh my, if I got this in Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, I would be willing to pay 50 quid for it. Oh my God, that is insane. All right, let me get this on the uh, the toast. So to me, that is the right consistency. It's not too thick, but it's not too runny. And I think what you're supposed to do is put some cheese and like salt and pepper on top and then like put it back in the oven or the grill just to, you know, to crisp up on top and go golden brown. But <sighs> we're in the outdoors and I haven't really got an oven, so. This is how I pack the stove away. It literally just goes like this. That in there, little stove, literally that big, crazy. That was quite good. Considering, you know, it's just made for boiling water in this pot, not too shabby. Pick lighter, and then that's pretty much it. That goes on there, and then elastic band just to keep the top on. There we are then, look at these views. I'm not gonna do the thing on top, it's probably a bit too dangerous. Put someone up there, do you want a piece mate? Psych, no one's having this. I mean, what a place. Let's have a taste then, shall we? Have a look at it. Can't believe how toasted it is. <laughs> Not that warm anymore, but all good. Mm. Oh, that's actually amazing. Mmm. Proper. It's so much better than cheese on toast. Mm. So it's like a cheesy, really cheesy sauce. And you've got like a hint of beer. And then another hint of Worcestershire sauce. It's actually amazing. The most savoury cheese on toast you can ever have. Now for the Glamorgan Brewing Company Welsh Pale Ale, 4.3. Mm. Mm. That's citrusy, what the? Mm. Oh, tropic, yeah, here we go. Intense citrus. Tropical and lime flavors, hints of pie. That is literally, yeah, exactly it. <laughs> that is so nice. Wow. I don't really like citrusy stuff, but like in beer anyway. Oh, I, I might have to get that. 
again. I'm going to give that a nine. That is really good. So we've just set up. I still need to eat that. The sun was going down quite quickly, so I was like, all right, best get it up. But what a view. I'll just wait there before we... So a couple of people have gone up there. I think they're wild camping. Further down. I don't blame them in this weather. <laughs> and then you got the sun right there. So if I make that, it's probably about half an hour left of sunlight. Alright then. It's actually gone up really well, the tent. Because there's hardly any wind. <laughs> Last time it was awful. So yeah, I've got it's pegged out really well now. Warm kit, electric, you know, you know the drill. Good quilt, good firm rest, sleeping pad. And then the vestibule is actually massive. Now the tent is up properly. I can store everything literally there and just sleep there. As long as it's not raining, my stuff won't get wet here, which is great. I need to eat this as well. Barra, Brif. I mean, I'm not going to eat all of that. That is... I can't believe how much that is. Uh, this is there for the morning, just I can make a brew. It's gonna get down to about minus one tonight, it said, so. Yeah, it's starting to go a bit chilly right now. You wouldn't think it though. I'm sorry, but what is this? <laughs> Looks like meat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna make of this. Not my cup of tea, I'll be honest. I'm not really a fan of fruitcake anyway, but I mean, it's edible. It's just hard to swallow. I've got this much of it. That's like half of my head. No, it's it's all right. It's not, not bad, but let's go and have a look over the edge. So it's, yeah, it's completely dark right now down there. Good job I actually didn't camp down there. These colors are insane. out proper out I think it's about 9 p.m. right now so I'm just gonna get my head down can't wait <laughs> cannot wait I, I look forward to this moment all day
I'm happy. I had a really good sleep. I've got these two in my hand. The wind's picked up, but it's dried the inside of the tent, which I'm happy about, because it, it gathers quite a bit of condensation. So that's all right, it's starting to dry that out. So yeah, uh, I mean, it got got pretty cool last night, but I was kept warm by the sleeping uh, pad and the quilt, so. I'm alive. Yeah, them views, I went out as soon as I got up, I got out the tent and just had a look around and I mean, because it's March as well, the sunrise, it's getting, you know, sooner and sooner. I think so, it, I mean, it was light at about four-ish. I'm not even joking. I could, it was coming through the tent, but I think it, I think on Google it said it was like quarter past six sunrise, so. Oh, I love these. Shortcut. I'm really happy with this little stove here. Literally that big. All you have to do, like all I to boil it for is if I needed a brew, if I wanted to boil water for, you know, the like adventure meals. And yeah, wow, happy with that. So I think this is the sixth national park I've done. So that means we have about nine left. If my last right. I reckon, I mean, what was the wildest I've been to so far? Snowdonia, that was really good. But Brecon is huge. Like it actually covers quite a lot of land. And I think I've chose a pretty good spot here. Camp last night, leave no trace. 